First in the spotlight tonight is the Sky News political editor, Faisal Islam, his specialist subject, Manchester United. <laughs> Next, the comedian Lloyd Langford. He'll be answering questions on the blues musician Robert Johnson. The presenter of CBBC's Saturday mashup, Yasmin Evans, takes as her subject the singer Luther Van Ross. And made in Chelsea's Ollie Lock on the Big Bang Theory, the television series, that is. Hello and welcome to Celebrity Mastermind with me, John Humphreys, and four people who may have achieved a lot in their lives but have not yet scaled this particular peak, the heady heights of becoming a celebrity mastermind champion. They don't get paid for doing it. The fee goes to charity. And to earn the title, they have to answer 90 seconds of specialist subject questions and two minutes of general knowledge. So let us ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Faisal Islam. Your chosen charity? Action for Children. And your chosen subject? 1990s, Man United. Man United in 90 seconds. Here we go. Who began the 1996-97 season by scoring an outstanding goal from inside his own half in a 3-0 win against Wimbledon? Pass. Which television pundit remarked that you can't win anything with kids after United's young side was beaten 3-1 by Aston Villa on the opening day of the 95-96 season? Arn Hansen. Yep. Against which Italian side did United have their only defeat in the group stage of the 97-98 Champions League? Fiorentina. Juventus. During a match in 95, which United player attacked a Crystal Palace fan called Matthew Simmons? Eric Cantona. Yep. In 92, against which club did United become the first top-flight team to lose an FA Cup tie in a penalty shootout after a fourth-round replay ended in a two-all draw? Southampton. Yep. Who scored twice for Crystal Palace against United in the 1990 FA Cup final? Ian Wright. Yep. Whose last-minute penalty was saved by Peter Schmeichel in United's 99 FA Cup semi-final against Arsenal? The game went to extra time and was decided by Ryan Giggs' famous goal. Dennis Bergkamp. Yep. Which club's fans greeted United's visit for a European Cup second leg tie in 93 with a banner that declared in English, Welcome to Hell. Galatasaray. Yes. When United were 1 0 down in the 99 Champions League final against Bayern Munich, which player was replaced by Teddy Sheringham, who equalised and then set up the winner? Um, Cole. No, Blomqvist. Which side pipped Manchester United to the league championship in 91-92? Leeds. Yep. Who scored five goals in United's record 9-0 win over Ipswich Town at Old Trafford in March 95? Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. It was Andy Cole. Oh. Yeah. You won pass. Uh, the 96-97 outstanding goal from inside his own half. I Wait, bet Beckham. you know now. It was Beckham. 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 Yeah. Beckham, yeah. Weird, isn't it? The... Yeah. <laughs> It's the black chair. Anyway, Faisal, do you remember what? you got seven points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Lloyd Langford. Your chosen charity? T. Haven. And your chosen subject? Robert Johnson. Robert Johnson. In 90 seconds, here we go. According to legend, who did Johnson meet one night at a crossroads near Clarksdale in the Delta? The meeting is said to have resulted in his mastery of the guitar and subsequent fame. The devil. Yes. Early in his career, before settling on the guitar, Johnson played the diddly bow, Jew's harp and what other instrument? Harmonica. Yep. Which eminent blues musician did Johnson first meet in Robinsonsville at the beginning of the 1930s? He immediately became an unofficial apprentice. Sun House. Yes. In which Texan town did Johnson make his first studio recordings of 16 songs in late 1936, beginning with Kind Hearted Woman Blues? San Antonio. Correct. Which photographic studio in Memphis is famous for its studio portrait of Robert Johnson? It's one of only two confirmed photographs of him. Brooks Brothers. Hooks Brothers. Which song, named after a model of Hudson Automobile, did Johnson record at his first session? It became his first release. It was the biggest seller during his lifetime. Terraplane Blues. Yep. Which record label issued the first recordings of Johnson in 1937? It was part of the American Record Company. Vocalion. Yep. Johnson and other blues players used a guitar technique historically known as bottleneck, which involves placing a metal or glass tube against the strings. What's the name of that technique? 
slide guitar. Yeah. Which blues guitarist was the only player taught by Johnson? He became known as Robert Jr. Robert Lockwood Jr. Yep. Johnson is recognised as a master of the Delta Blues style that prospered in the southern United States in an area bordered to the west by which river? Mississippi. Yeah, that's correct. What name was given to the ramshackle buildings, often of ill repute and sometimes called barrel houses, where Johnson and other musicians played? Duke joints. Duke joints is exactly right. Lloyd, no passes. You've got ten points. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Yasmin Evans. Your chosen charity? The Samaritans. And your chosen subject? Luther Vandross. In 90 seconds, starting now, which musician met Vandross at Philadelphia's Sigma Studios in 1974 and collaborated with him on the track Fascination? David Bowie. Yep. Which single that Vandross wrote with Richard Marks includes the lyric, I'd play a song that would never, ever end? A house is not home. Dance with my father. In 1969, Van Dross appeared on a children's television programme as part of the youth performance group Listen, My Brother. What programme? Sesame Street. Yes. Which disco group headed by Jacques Fred Petrus hired Van Dross to record vocals on the title track for the 1980 album The Glow of Love? Chic. Change. What record label that was an offshoot of Atlantic aimed at nurturing up and coming talent signed up Van Dross's band Luther for their first album in 1976? Epic. Cotillion. In 1979, Van Dross arranged backing vocals for No More Tears, Enough Is Enough. It was recorded by Donna Summer and which other superstar female singer? Cheryl Lynn. Barbara Streisand. Which song that had been recorded previously by the Sand Pebbles did Van Dross pair with his track Power of Love to create a medley that won a Grammy Award in 1992? Pass. What is the title of Van Dross's 1992 duet with Janet Jackson that features on the soundtrack of the Damon Wayans film More Money? Best Things in Life are Free. Correct. On which tropical island was the luxurious Air Studio where Van Dross and his band recorded the album The Night I Fell in Love? Pass. At which London venue did Van Dross stage a series of concerts in the spring of 1989 that were later released on video? Royal Albert Hall. Wembley. What is the title of Van Dross's festive 95 album that includes the songs The Mistletoe Jam and I Listen to the Bells? Pass. Well, I can tell you, Kirsha, right of time. This is Christmas, is what that one was, and your other two passes. Montserrat was that tropical island with the luxurious air studio, and Love Power was the song previously recorded by the Sand Pebbles. You scored, Yasmin, three points. <laughs> and our final contender, please. And your name is? Ollie Locke. Your chosen charity? Stonewall. And your chosen subject? The Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory. In 90 seconds, Leonard, Sheldon, Howard and Raj work at which institute? Cal Arts. Caltech. Now, what special word does Sheldon use when someone falls for one of his jokes, such as in the Bazinga. monopolar expedition when he tells Leonard he has got an equation wrong? Bazinga. Yep. Which actress played Howard's mother, Mrs Wolowitz, in 39 episodes before her death in 2014? She was never seen, but a bellowing voice was heard off screen. A pass. Sheldon's girlfriend, Amy, is upset when he is not impressed by her latest scientific paper. What item of jewellery does he buy her to try to patch things up? A tiara. Yep. Which scientist has acted as the programme's scientific consultant since 2007? Mm, pass. Sheldon explains Leonard's attraction to their neighbour, Penny, using a hypothesis from a book that Leonard's mother wrote about his childhood. What's the book called? Um, pass. When Howard is getting ready to go into space, he hopes the other astronauts will give him the nickname a Rocket Man. What nickname do they actually give him? Fruit Loops. Yes. Which actor from Star Trek, The Next Generation, who makes many appearances in the show as himself, first meets Sheldon at a tournament in the comic book store? He usually acts as Sheldon's nemesis. Will Wheaton. Yep. When Sheldon is trying to work out when he's going to die in the cruciferous vegetable amplification, he makes a chart of his family history, which has the letters KBB against his uncle Carl's name. What do those letters stand for? Killed by Badger? Yes. When Penny invites Sheldon, Howard, Leonard and Raj to a Halloween party, they all initially dress up as which superhero? The Flash. Yep. What piece of high-specification equipment did Howard design for the International Space Station? Um, a loo. Yeah. A little bit more detail. Um, a space loo? Yes, that'll do.
That'll Thank do. You. It was actually a zero gravity. Perfect. One, the thought of that is slightly unpleasant. But anyway, there we are. Uh, three passes. Uh, needy Baby, Greedy Baby. Mm. That's what that book was called. Uh, David Salzberg was the scientific consultant. And Carol Ann Susie was the actress who played Howard's very strange mother. You have, Ollie, seven points. Thank you. So, that's the end of the first round. Let's have a look at all of the scores. In fourth place with three points, Yasmin. Joint second place, seven points apiece, Faisal and Oli. First place, ten points, Lloyd. <laughs> so, round two, the general knowledge now, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. Let us get on with it and ask Yasmin to join us again, please. And uh, your sort of day job, as it were, been doing it for a while, Radio 1 Extra. Yes. But you also have a telly job, Saturday yeah. morning telly. Yes, yeah, Saturday mashup on uh, CBBC and BBC Two. And uh, you presented, I know, with Johnny Nelson yes. and... Also, your mate. Yes. Yeah. Hello, uh, Yasmin. Yeah. Oh, hi, Hax. Hey, Cockers. I've been watching. You're doing well, Cocker. Thank you very much. Don't, don't encourage him. Now, Yasmin, I've got a surefire way you can win this show. Okay. Know all the answers. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Anyway, how are you, Hacker? Apart from all that, are you well? Oh, I'm very well, thanks, John. Yeah. It's been seven years in dog years since I was last here, isn't it? Yeah, I know. You did rather well, didn't you? You came. Fourth or something. That was second. I was beaten by a TV chef. <laughs> and? Thank you for letting me on the chair. Well, it wasn't my idea, I'm bound to say. I went lav-lav on it. Be careful there. Anyway, very nice to see you. Now thank then. you, John. Have a lovely evening. Yes, thank you, Hacker. He is a lot of fun to work with. And he so is. is Johnny, yeah. And there's plenty of gunge as well, so it's very nostalgic. Yeah. Well, let's see how you do now with your general knowledge questions. Okay. Starting now, according to legend, a magician was the advisor to King Arthur. Who was he? Pass. What fruit juice is mixed with champagne or sparkling wine to make a buck's fizz? Orange juice. Yes. Which British swimmer who won gold medals in the women's 400 and 800 metres freestyle events at the Beijing Olympics won bronze medals in the same events at the London Games? Pass. According to a biblical proverb, what animal cannot change its spots? Leopard. Yes. Which of Henry VIII's wives was the mother of Queen Elizabeth I? Pass. The Gare Montparnasse and the Gare d'Austerlitz are main railway termini in which city? Pass. What is the name of the 2017 film based on a Stephen King novel in which a group of children fight an evil, child-killing shapeshifter who appears as a clown? It. Yes. The long-leaved romaine lettuce takes its alternative name from which Greek island? Which Canadian rap singer, whose real name is Aubrey Graham, won the International Male Solo Artist Award at the 2017 Brit Ceremony? Drake. Yes. What is the fruit of the oak tree called? Pass. On what planet did the astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli observe a series of straight lines in 1877 that he called canali, meaning channels? The word was widely mistranslated into English as canals. Pass. Which annual dog show, now held at the NEC in Birmingham, was founded by, it's named after, a former travelling dog biscuit salesman? Crofts? Yes. The five novel Emperor series that begins with the gates of Rome and ends with the blood of gods is about the rise and the fall of which famous Roman statesman? Pass. Jessica Hayes and the former Durham cricketer Max Morley were the first winners of a reality television series when it returned to screens in 2015. Which series was that? Pass. What common name is given to the complex joint consisting of eight small bones that connects the hand to the arm? The wrist. The wrist is correct. You had nine passes. Love Island was that television series. Julius Caesar was the famous Roman statesman. Mars is the planet where they thought there were canals and weren't. The fruit of the oak tree is called the acorn. <laughs> the uh, lettuce is a cos. Those stations are in Paris and Berlin was the mother of Queen Elizabeth I. Rebecca Adlington was the British swimmer and Merlin was the magician. You've got, Yasmin, now a total of nine points. <laughs> and now 
Mohamed Faisal again, please. And uh, political editor in these extremely interesting times. Yes. Interesting partly because we now have something that we didn't have, at least we didn't call it fake news. Mm. Do you think people actually do believe this fake news? I mean, some of it is just so fantastical that it is obviously rubbish. Aren't we getting a bit too excited about it? I think what happened, like, maybe five, ten, ten years ago was that technology companies started to take on the role of editor. Your bosses, my bosses. And we didn't quite realise that shift. And they're using computer programmes to decide what's important and relevant. And that gets you so far. But I, don't, I think the kind of role of somebody who kind of knows what they're talking about, an expert, is we kind of rule it out, we, uh, we diminish it at our peril. You've got seven points at the moment. Let's see how you do with two minutes of general knowledge. Here we go. How many holes are there on a standard golf course? 18. Yep. What name that comes from the Japanese for tray and planting is given to the art of cultivating dwarf trees in pots? Bonsai. Yep. In 1957, Patricia Breeden was the UK's first representative in a musical competition held that year in Frankfurt. Which competition? Eurovision. Yes. Which English novelist, poet and dramatist set most of his work in the fictional county of Wessex? Thomas Hardy. Yep. What is the name of the pig, the title character of a 95 film, who's been adopted by a sheepdog and learns to herd sheep with a little help from Farmer Hoggett? Pass. What type of very hot red pepper shares its name with the capital of French Guiana? Chile. KN. Which politician's grandfather, Friedrich, was ordered to leave his native Germany in 1905 because he hadn't completed his compulsory military service? He had just returned from America, where he'd gone to make his fortune. Oh, pass. What word for a noisy party is now used for a large rally of scouts or guides? Uh, pass. In April 1977, Charlotte Brew rode her own horse, Barony Fort, to become the first woman to compete in which classic steeplechase? Tellman. Grand National. What is the name for the tufted cotton fabric once commonly used for bedspreads and dressing gowns? Pass. Which character of a Shakespeare tragedy was killed in battle by Macduff? Henry IV. Macbeth. Oh. Much of the Georgian architecture of a West Country city, including the Assembly Room, Circus and Royal Crescent, was designed by John Wood and his son. Which city? Bath. Yep. Yeah. In evolution, the hypothetical creature halfway between modern human beings and our anthropoid ancestors is popularly known as the missing... Link. Yes. Which Harry Potter character shares his name with an old word for a bumblebee because J.K. Rowling imagined him wandering around humming music to himself? Uh, pass. The metropolitan area of which West Coast American city includes the cities of Long Beach and Pasadena? Los Angeles. Los Angeles is correct. You had um, five passes, Faisal. It was Professor Dumbledore oh. who wanders around humming <laughs> to himself. Uh, tufted cotton fabric is Candlewick. That word for a noisy party, large rally of scouts, jamboree. President Trump. Oh, well, it, it was his grandfather, Friedrich, was ordered to leave Germany and all that. And the name of the pig in that 95 film was Babe. Anyway, there we are. You now have a total of 14 points. again, please. And, uh, You're the made-in-Chelsea man, as it were. I am. And, um, it's meant to be structured reality. That's the expression they use to describe it, isn't it? What, what does that mean? So it kind of goes with it, your life in every single way. It's everything we say and do is real, but sometimes we have to be placed into situations so that there isn't a million people around and, and that kind of stuff. Really, it's very, very difficult. It's all a big, big recipe. But uh, is it really telling us, telling the viewer, about you and your lives in, in any accurate sense? My housemate once said that if you knew how real it was, you'd like it more. And actually, it's surprisingly real in every manner. Right, you have seven points so far. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Two minutes, starting now. What does the abbreviation stand for in the title of Roald Dahl's story, The BFG? Big Friendly Giant. Yes, Cleopatra, the lover of Julius Caesar, and later the wife of Mark Antony, was the queen of which country? Egypt. Yep. What term that comes from the French for racetrack is given to a specially prepared area of compacted snow used for skiing? Mm, slope. Piste. Salazar's Revenge, released in 2017, is the subtitle of the fifth film in what series? 
No idea. What type of light rainfall is defined by meteorologists as droplets of rain up to 0.5 millimetres in diameter? S small rain? Drizzle. Which indie pop band from Nottingham topped the UK album charts in June 2017 with Truth is a Beautiful Thing? Pass. What name is given to the thick cream, a speciality of Devon and Cornwall, made by heating ordinary cream to evaporate some of the liquid? Clotted. Yeah. Which country hosted the UEFA Women's Euro 2017 tournament and beat England in the semi-finals and Denmark in the final to win it for the first time? France? Holland. With which political party did the Conservatives form a loose alliance in June 2017 in return for an extra billion pounds for the Northern Ireland economy over the next two years? The Scottish... No, nope. the Democratic Unionist Party. Which Portuguese islands that lie off the coast of Africa have Funchal as their capital? Brr. No idea. On what day of the week do Muslims gather in a mosque to say the prayer known as the Juma? Fridays. Yep. What nickname was given to Jamie Oliver because he promised to strip food down to its bare essentials in his first television programme? The Naked Chef. Yes. Stephen Baxter's 2017 novel, The Massacre of Mankind, is a sequel to which H.G. Wells classic? Mm, pass. Which village in Essex was confirmed as the site of London's third airport in 1967? Heathrow. Stansted. What name that originally meant in the Bengali style is given to a single-storey house, often with a veranda? Pass. Well, you're out of time, so I can tell you it's a bungalow. That'll do. A Bengali bungalow. And your other passes... Uh, Stephen Baxter's novel, The Massacre of Mankind, was sequel to War of the Worlds. The Madeira Islands has Funchal as their capital. London Grammar was the name of that indie pop band. And Salazar's Revenge was part of the Pirates of the Caribbean series. You have, Ollie, 12 points. Thank you. And finally, Lloyd again, please. Now then, here's a nice, easy question for you. If, if you're an actor, yes. you want to play Hamlet, and if you're a band, you want to play Wembley Stadium. If you're a comedian, what do you want to do? I don't know. I've played a lot of big venues that people would want to play, like uh, the Hammersmith Apollo. Yeah. But... I think there's a certain size room for comedy that's best, probably about a thousand seats. Yeah. What's the scariest thing that's ever happened to you on stage? I, I did a gig in New Zealand uh, this year and I was making some slightly cheeky jokes about New Zealand and a man that was like built like an all black got up and started running towards the stage <laughs> and my life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> And then he put down a fresh beer and he said, I saw that you run out of beer, so I've got you. <laughs> oh. Oh. So. Right, you got ten points, Lloyd. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Two minutes, here we go. Jersey and Guernsey are the largest of which group of islands? Channel Island. Yep. What famous portrait by Leonardo da Vinci is also known as La Gioconda? The Mona Lisa. Yes, in the novels of Terry Pratchett, the Hogfather is the Discworld equivalent of what seasonal figure? Father Christmas. Yep. In August 2017, which footballer was transferred from Barcelona to Paris Saint-Germain for a reported fee of £198 million? Lionel Messi? No, Neymar Jr. Who won a Best Supporting Actress Oscar for a role as Lynn Bracken in the 97 film L.A. Confidential? Pass. What spirit is used in a Moscow mule and owes its modern style to a professor in St. Petersburg in the late 18th century who developed a method of purifying alcohol using charcoal filtration? Vodka. Yes. Natalie and Nicole Appleton, Melanie Blatt and Chesney Lewis were all members of a British pop group. Which one? All Saints. Yep. Who is washed ashore on the island of Lilliput when his ship, the Antelope, sinks at the start of the book about his travels? Gulliver. Yep. The glands that secrete the hormone adrenaline lie just above which organs? Pass. What name is given to the symbol used before a word or phrase to mark key items in a message on social media, such as Twitter? Hashtag. Yep. Which peninsula in South Wales was designated Britain's first area of outstanding natural beauty in 1956? Oh, I'm going to get in trouble for getting that wrong. You are. Clear? Now the gower. 
<sighs> Which early woodwind instrument with a whistle mouthpiece was revived by the British instrument maker Arnold Dolmetsch and is now widely used in primary schools? Recorder. Yes. In space exploration, what historic event took place at 2.56 a.m. GMT on the 21st of July, 1969? Man landing on the moon. Yes. What is the only mythological creature among the 12 animals representing the years in the Chinese calendar? Dragon. Yeah. What term that literally means to the seeing again is used by the French for goodbye. Au revoir. Yeah. In which television comedy series first shown in 1999 do the husband and wife Tubbs and Edward Tatsirup run a local shop for local people? The League of Gentlemen. The League of Gentlemen, it has to be, doesn't it? Yeah. You had two passes. The glands that secrete adrenaline are above the kidneys and Kim Bassinger won Best Supporting Actress. For LA Confidential, you have a total now, Lloyd, of 22 points. <laughs> well, we have a clear winner. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, with nine points, Yasmin. Third place, 12 points, Ollie. Second place, 14 points, Faisal. First place, 22 points, Lloyd. <laughs> Lloyd. Thank you. And, I, and I tell you what, if it's not useful for anything else, when they do storm the stage, if you're not making them, you're going to deal with that. Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, congratulations. Well done. Now, you don't have to be a celebrity to take part in the regular Mastermind programme. If you'd like to appear in the next series on BBC Two, then visit us online at bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind. And you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And either way, do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>